So, I mean, the question that we get asked a lot of times is, you know, will there ever be a call cancel button? So the situation typically is you walk into the elevator, you decide which floor you want to go to, and then you change your mind because you realize you have to go to a different floor or you, you know, just press the wrong button. Um, at that point, you know, the, you know, can we cancel that call and can we, you know, press the new floor? At this point in time, we don't have a call cancel button. And the way to think about this is, you know, we have to make sure that any calls that have been placed are served and we don't want to inadvertently cancel somebody else's call, right? So in that scenario, we expect the passengers to place another call so that they can get to the destination that they choose to, but we do keep that existing call in the system to make sure, you know, we don't disappoint any passengers potentially. If you think about what elevator dispatching actually does, right? So if you walk into a building, you've got a bank of elevators, um, and you really are using the elevators to get to your final destination. So in most typical buildings, the first step you would do is press the up or down button to indicate which direction you're traveling. And at that point in time, uh, the elevator controller has to look at all the other cars that are being placed in that building and send to you a car that can pick you up. And that is fundamentally the role of the dispatcher. The dispatcher is making intelligent decisions almost a thousand times a second to dispatch a car to pick up a passenger to take them to their final destination.